Hey guys, this is Bharat Watch with PhoneArena.com reporting live from the Mobile World Congress show floor and I'm here at the Intel booth checking out all the devices that are powered by their technology and in this case it's Internet of Things and wearables. So this is the Basis Speak smartwatch. Basis is a company that Intel recently acquired for their wearable technology. Uh, and this is actually completely made by Basis. This is a touchscreen smartwatch or rather smart fitness band. It can do smartwatch stuff like messages, notifications and so on. But it's basically a fitness band with a heart rate sensor and a very accurate sleep tracking. So that's the main feature of the Basis Speak. It has insane levels of accuracy in uh, sleep tracking. So let's find out what it is with the uh, with a simple screenshot here that I have on the Galaxy S4. So this is the activity feed that the basis has. This is number of steps, uh, the RPM uh, or beats per minute, heart rate and so on, all these data. And this is the sleep tracking thing. So the total number of hours is tracked, REM is tracked, deep sleep is tracked, uh, your toss turn is tracked, interruptions, everything, everything is put into a graph and what you see here is uh, what happened when according to the timeline. So the total amount of sleep that this person has got is 3 hours 46 minutes and everything is being documented in a very graphical way. So they say that no other uh, smart fitness band does this as detailed. So that's the uh, one key advantage of using the basis speak. Now moving on to the other wearable that is the SMS headphones with the optical sensor that can read your heart rate. So this is basically for people who run and want their data tracked while running and listening to music, not wearing to, not having to wear a fitness band or any other device that tracks it. So that's what I'm having here. Let's have a closer look at this. This is the uh, sensor that's inside the ear that's going to read your heart rate from your ear which is slightly more accurate or more or less the same as the heart rate sensor on the basis and it's it's going to be mostly uh, focused at comfort so when it's in your ear you don't you're not wearing anything extra and while running this is going to be more comfortable than wearing anything that tracks your heart rate and this is powered entirely by the 3.5 mm audio jack there is no battery for this it takes the power from the phone and uh, does its work so it also provides data directly to the phone uh, through the 3.5 mm audio jack and what intel has done is put a microprocessor in this you can have it on or off this is currently on and this is uh, sms audios headset with the heart rate sensor powered by Intel's technology. This you might remember as Intel's own Raspberry Pi-like platform. This is a very small chipset and it's uh, powered by Intel microprocessor. And this is enabling a lot of Internet of Things uh, devices, which is this helmet here. So this is uh, a connected helmet, which can connect with the bike over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. The bike also, which is a BMW Tourer that we have behind the helmet, that is also powered by the Edison. And the Edison has voice recognition and can do a lot of smart things like, for example, telling you how much gas is left on the bike. This helmet has a microphone that you can issue voice commands to and also has the headphones which you can hear inputs from. So, for example, if you need directions, you can just say to the mic that give me directions to this place and the GPS routing will start and you can directly hear those inputs inside the helmet without any interruptions. So, this is the connected helmet. This is a really cool thing uh, with indicators and so on. This looks really cool and seems like a really good implementation here at the Intel booth. So, yes, that's the Intel Edison powered helmet and the BMW bike. And that's it for the video. Do hit the like button if you like this and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. And do check out all our other MWC videos in our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and let us know what you think in the comment section below.